Well, we knew Army coming in, uh, you know, they always play well here in the Carrier Dome. We knew they'd be fired up, especially after their Tuesday game. And, uh, you know, they came out and, and played very hard uh, like we knew they would. And I've been telling our guys all week long that, you know, we, when we go against Army, you got to come out, roll up your sleeves and play for 60 minutes. And uh, that's held true once again. I think their, our defense uh, played pretty well today. Uh, we gave up. I think five goals in the in the first half, and uh, not unusual. Uh, but to hold them to one goal in the third quarter and one goal in the fourth quarter was very big for us. Uh, certainly, uh, an important piece of that was Drake Porter, um, 18 saves on the day, and a number of one-on-one -on -one saves. So that uh, that really helped our defensive cause. And when a when a goalie is playing like that, it it, it makes the offensive players on the other team. Uh, think about their shots, and I think after a while, I think they were probably thinking about their shots a little bit because he had made so many great saves. Uh, you know, a couple to too many turnovers, uh, but then Jacob Fopp to uh, to give us that many possessions. You know, being 16 of, of 19 on the day, uh, I think was very big to give our you know our offense all those possessions, especially when we were trying to figure out their defense in the first half. So, you know, a big piece to our win also. You know, clearing went pretty well. Uh, you know, a little bit of riding, but those stats were somewhat equal. But uh, we really had to work hard to win this game, and uh, I think that only helps us going forward. But thank you. Uh, for Jamie, um, what changed in the second half to give you those cuts down the middle? Was it something you were trying to force a little bit more, or um, was there just a gap you were seeing? Um, we realized in the first half that they weren't really going to slide to us. They were just going to kind of let us go on an island one-on-one -on -one, um, and hope that their goalie made the save, which he did in the first half a ton of times. He played uh, a really good game. But in the second half, we just kind of took a step back and realized that they weren't going to come to us. So it was up to us to beat our guy one-on-one. -on -one. Um, when we did that, that we started putting the ball away. So, With that, John, I guess just what a uh... – is that why you guys decided to go to the inverted midfielder so much? It seemed like that was something that you guys kind of repeatedly went back to in the second half, and obviously it was some success. Yeah, I think that uh, I thought they did a pretty good job uh, defending it in the first half, even though we got some shots. And in the second half, it looked like they, uh, uh, their answer wasn't to slide to the, the invert guy, you know, make him shoot flat, and especially with a goalie that's playing so well. And uh, as a result, I think we, at least we got some good dodges. And, and obviously, Jamie, five of our nine goals was huge today. Uh, he was shooting well. So um, we just thought we saw some things there. Then they, they were slow to go to it in the second half. And we get a couple goals out of it. Jamie, I'm just curious. You know, there's a lot of talent on the offense, attack and midfield. And you know, opposing team has to pick what they're going to focus on. So whoever's left open is probably going to cash in. But you, you as a midfield, you guys got every point today. Um, did you kind of take it on yourself to you know, when, when the team says, you look, okay, you guys beat us, it's almost surprising, like, yeah, okay, you know, we can do this. What was the mentality of the midfield when it became obvious that you guys are going to have the challenge today? Um, yeah, when you realize that um, the team's going to press out and, and you're gonna, they're not going to slide to the guys that are dodging on the short sticks, you kind of got to take advantage of that. So um, our Tucker and Brendan kind of took that upon themselves to, to create offense, um, and it's just our system. Today was our day. Um, up top, and, and our tech have plenty of days uh, down low. So, Drake, ten saves in the first quarter when the offense was really trying to figure that Army defense out. How does your mentality change when you get into a spot where the offense is struggling and you keep facing shots? Um, I think you know it really comes back to the defense because when the offense is struggling, sometimes uh, that means you know they're always making saves. That means a lot of possessions down our end. And uh, credit to my guys, I think you know practicing so hard paid off because no one got tired and kind of kept fighting and you know the shots I was seeing um, even the one-on-one -on -one stuff we were able to get hands on and uh, you know the defense really played well in front of me and was able to help me make those saves and then we knew the offense would heat up so uh, we weren't too afraid. Jamie in the first half there was it just them not sliding as much was that something you guys didn't anticipate or kind of why do you think the offense started kind of as slow as it did? We knew they were going to press out. Um, they've kind of been doing it on film all year, but we just hadn't gone against it um, yet this year, so it was a little shock. But we, we took the shock well. Um, and in the first half, the goalie just stood on his head, so we had to readjust uh, our shooting in the second half, and, and it paid off. So. Where did you feel like you readjusted the shooting? He was actually dropping low, it, it seemed like, uh, in the first half, so we had to readjust. And we were telling our guys to shoot high, but I was pretty stubborn and still stuck a couple low on him, so <laughs> I don't really know. 
Jamie, you and Brendan were the only people that had points for a long time in that game. Did you talk to him and think, okay, we got to take it, we got to take this game over because the offense is struggling? Uh, there was nothing like that. Like I said, uh, today was just our day because they were going to press out on us. We had to make it happen. Um, other times, the, the attack has to make it happen, and we let, we let them do that. So it was just our turn today. John, what do you attribute kind of to the first half um, woes, and did you find it encouraging maybe the final two possessions kind of going into halftime? Um, well, I'm going to give a little credit to their defense. They've been, you know, very stingy uh, up till you know Tuesday night, but. I think that uh, I think their shooting could have been, been better. I think that uh, you know the offense we were running, we were ending up with a lot of low angle shots, and uh, that's why we changed things at halftime. Um, and some turnovers, I think, you know, between the shooting and some turnovers and giving the ball back. When you have that many possessions off the faceoff, I thought we needed to be uh, more patient in the first quarter, first half. Uh, we played an awful lot of defense, uh, even though winning those faceoffs, there were some quick shots. And the goalie making some saves, uh, you know, he had 11 saves in the in the first half. So those are almost turnovers for us. Uh, so to win that many faceoffs and turn the ball over and then give them the ball back, and they're going to be more patient on offense uh, than we were in the first half. So I think we need to be more patient and shoot better. Jacob, it seemed like it seemed like whatever they threw at you, they did not have an answer. What was working for you today? Uh, I think I was just hearing the whistle well, and uh, I think all the wing guys, we were all on the same page. Um, they were like boxing out uh, my back exit for me, so I was able to get on the ball quick, go back. Um, that was pretty much just the game plan: get the get the ball and get out. Where's your confidence level at after um, a game like this? Uh, I mean, I definitely have confidence for sure, but just try to stay level-headed and keep working hard. Jamie, you know, looking up, watching the game, every time there's a score, or hit or something, guys are picking themselves off the turf. At both ends, you know, you work really, really hard for those nine goals, those five goals. Too. Can you put in words? I know every every individual opponent you know, plays physical, but put in words what a game like that is like at the end, body wise, and what you guys feel like after going against that defense. Um, it's it's the U.S. Army, so obviously you know you have to play a whole game against them, the, the toughest guys around. So we were prepared for that. We we talked about that all week. Um, obviously, at the end of the game, you're obviously pretty tired when, when you're going at it head to head like that against a great squad. So. We just push through, and we have a great strength and conditioning coach that gets us prepared, um, conditioning-wise, and that paid off today. Greg, I know you uh, mentioned a lot of those one-on-ones that you had. What were you kind of seeing on a lot of those plays, especially in the first quarter? Um, I mean, to be honest with you, I grew up um, north of the border, so there's a lot of good inside finishers up there. Um, so I'm kind of used to having to see shots on the inside. I grew up; it was rare. I got a shot outside 10 yards in youth lacrosse. So something that I think is a strength of mine. But like I said, we were also able to check sticks and kind of pressure those guys into shooting quickly each time, which allowed me to make my read and uh, read them and beat them, so to speak. Sean, tactically, what, what did you guys kind of want to do differently in the second half offensively? It seemed like maybe you drove down the alleys more a little bit in the first half and got away from that in the second half. Or I don't, what, what were you guys trying to do differently? Uh, we, we just gave them a couple different looks. Um, you know, in the first half was a single crease and the second half we did some double crease and some open look which is a circle basically leaving the crease open so between a double crease and no crease it was just a changes it changed how the def their defense had to play coach last time you had two goals going into a half was the Duke game last year you came back and won that game two years ago you had one goal going into the half against army came back and won that game how do you go into the half knowing that okay we can still make this if we're a second half team? Well, I think it's, uh, you know, J Jamie touched on our conditioning. Our conditioning is very good. And, uh, you know, us as coaches, we have to make adjustments. You know, we've been doing it for a little while and see what the defenses are doing. And, um, you know, I think there's a, a never quit attitude with the group that we try to instill. So I think that's all pieces of it, changes that we make. We didn't really have to change much defensively today, but we definitely had to change things uh, offensively and change our shooting and uh, be a little bit more patient. Fortunately, we came out, we had those goals early in the third quarter, and I think they all you know, started you know, believing again. Two more questions, sorry, Coach, did you get a little bit more confidence in the defense when you were getting the penalties early, but you were able to kill all those man downs? So yes. You know, like, a little bit better with a little smart game. Yeah, that was huge. I thought the defense covered it fairly well, but they also, uh, 
the Army made some great looks to the, the pipes, the guys standing on the pipes offensively, and they were able to catch it. A couple of them, they skipped the ball through and uh, caught our defense with a stick in the, in the wrong lane. And, um, you know, I, I got to give Drake credit because they were, those were one-on-one -on -one saves and, and, and right on top of them. Uh, for John, there was that play Griffin was running a lot, just from dodging from X, and then he was trying to hook it back around, and he sailed it uh, high a couple times. But then you got two goals, I think, from, from Tucker and David in the end. Were you kind of seeing that you could beat that short stick behind the net, or was that just a play that's going to happen? Well, I, I, I think I talked a little bit earlier about the. I think their change was to not slide, to let the guy you know come around. And they play really good defense. So uh, between them playing good one-on-one -on -one defense and their goalie playing well, I think it's just a. You know, it's kind of a percentage move on their part to be a little slower to go and make, make us take flatter shots. And uh, I think the, the goals that we got there were guys who were shooting high and we had shot so many low early in the game. I think we kind of trained them that we were going low. And uh, when we changed up our shots and went high, we had some success, especially, you know, when you're on an invert, you're shooting pretty tight to the goal. It's a higher percentage shot. Thanks, guys. Hey, thank you.